Hi everyone, this is Darone and today I'm going to show you a small expansion that was released uh, for the game Elder Sign called Grave Consequences. It's uh, a game that comes with three modules, three deck of cards that can be all um, integrated into the game, the base game, or one of it or two of it, it doesn't matter, it's up to you. By the way, the box that I'm using to elevate the cards that has nothing to do with the expansion nor the game, I just use that to elevate it. Now, um, like I said, there are three modules. The uh, first deck from the left is um, called the Phobia um, deck. The next one is called the Epitaph deck. And the last one is called the Epic Battle Cards. Now, I don't think it's necessary to show how, the game, how this expansion interacts in the game itself. I assume that you're familiar with the game um, Elder Sign. It's really, it's a very small simple expansion, unnecessary to show that um, as part of, uh, of the game. Now, what it is, the uh, first deck, which is the Phobia cards, when you lose your stamina, instead of dying, what was it, the stamina, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, the sanity, instead of dying, you, you um, draw one of these cards, and they're like permanent applied to the investigator. You place it next to the inv investigator card and the effect is ongoing. There's no way of getting rid of it. Now, um, once you pull that card, your sanity, uh, you regain it to, uh, to its full capacity. And then you go again. If you, for some reason you go down to zero, you pull another card. You do it up to four times where uh, the fourth time that happens, then the investigator is devour uh, devoured now when the ancient ones awaken uh, no additional phobia cards uh, are drawn all current phobia effects remain in plane um, when an investigator's sanity reaches uh, zero or less while battling the ancient ones he is then truly devoured uh, let me see if there's anything else i can think about uh, this deck um, I think that's it. I'm just really like re referencing. I'm looking at the uh, at the rules that came with uh, with this uh, small expansion. It's really that small. It uh, it does a better job than me just explaining, trying to come up with the the right words to explain. So the next deck, and I will show cards that for exam as an example uh, momentarily. The epitaph cards. Um, when an investigator is devoured, he draws um, one of those cards and resolves the effect. Then you flip that card face down, place it near the plane area, and places the investigator token on the card's back. That's really what it is. Again, I'll show that momentarily. And the last deck, like we said, it is the Epic Battle card. Um, when you do add these cards to the game, there's a um, rules modification the, to the Battling the Ancient One section of the, uh, of the game, the base game itself. So the start of the epic battle, when the Ancient One awakens, you shuffle the epic battle deck and place it next to the Ancient One card. Then what you do, you draw the top card of the epic battle deck and resolve uh, the order of attacks from top to bottom as list is, uh, listed on the card. Um, then, uh, what do you do then? If the Ancient One, by the way, wakes uh, at midnight, you don't immediately resolve the attack. You just draw the top of the card of the Epic Battle deck and resolve the order of attacks from top to the bottom. Um, investigate resolve their attack, applying any effects indicated by the Epic Battle card. After an Investigator attacks, you advance the clock. And then you continue to resolve the Investigator's attack until midnight. When the clock Strikes midnight, the ancient one resolves its attack, applying the eff any effects indicated by the epic battle card, and then no further investigators may attack this round. Um, and then you draw the next card in the epic battle deck and basically resolve it. Um, when the ancient one attacks first, he resolves his attack, he applies any effects indicated by the epic battle card. Then the investigators attack, applying any effects indicated by the epic battle card. After an investigator's attack, you advance the clock when midnight, midnight strikes. No further investigators may attack during that round. You draw the next card in the epic battle deck and resolve it. 
Um, battle events. They provide breaks in the combat, granting bonuses or penalties. You resolve the card from top to bottom. Now, let me show you a few cards as examples. Let me put it here, making sure that we're in focus. So this one, for example, it says, uh, and, and again, once you are devoured, instead of being devoured, you pull this card and you put it next to the player uh, investigator card. So each time an investigator adds the yellow die to his uh, dice pool, you lose one sanity. Another card here is like, each time investigator gain one or more elder sign, you lose one sanity. So as you can see, this is nothing good, nothing that you benefit from. Each time you use or discard a spell, common item, or unique item, you lose one sanity. I think you get the idea here. Each time one or more Doom tokens are added to the Doom track, you roll a green die on a terror or, or peril result. You guessed it, you lose one sanity. And there's a few more. Now, the epitaph cards. You discard one Elder Sign. That's a consequence of that. Each surviving inv investigator gains one common item or one unique item. Oop, that's a good thing. Each surviving investigator loses one sanity. Huh. Each surviving investigator regains one sanity. Let's do another one. Each surviving investigator gains one spell. All right. The epic battle deck. Let's see what's going on here. So you resolve from top to bottom. The, the, the top... Investigator's attack is normal, then each investigator regains one sanity. Then the Ancient One, the Ancient One does not attack this round. Woohoo! Lucky. The next card indicates for the investigators, during the attack phase, each attacking investigator who does not complete the Ancient One's battle task at least once is devoured. Then the Ancient One, the Ancient One does not attack this round. Huh. Like that's gonna help, right? Ancient one, that's top to bottom again, the order. So ancient one first needs to be resolved. The ancient one attacks as normal, then for the investigators. Investigators do not attack this round. Each investigator regains a stamina. Mm. Alright, last one, let's do that one. This one, the ancient one on the top. The ancient one attacks as normal, then each investigator loses one stamina. And then for the investigators, investigators do not attack this round. That's really it. That's more of an expansion. Um, playing it once. Um, it was fun. Even though I got to tell you, we didn't get a chance to uh, pull any phobia cards. Maybe there was once, I think, we pulled the phobia cards. Um, I don't think we played with the epic battle cards. And nobody really died. We didn't get to a point where we had to... Uh, uh, draw a card from the epitaph deck and uh, that's it i hope you enjoyed this uh, video uh, the intent was really just to show you give you an idea about uh, the expansion not necessarily how it plays um, if you like this video i appreciate if you like it um, if you found it useful i also appreciate if you subscribe to my channel and remember that sharing is caring thank you very much for watching